Meet Ogura, Nippon's average man among 73 million inhabitants of Japan proper. Even stripped down to a loincloth, he looks plenty tough. But he still wants to be fed, sheltered, clothed. And since the advent of war, armed and transported. A question arises. Does Japan proper have the natural resources to turn out a modern citizen of the world with imperialistic ambitions? The overall answer to this question is that Japan proper hasn't got what it takes in resources. There are, however, two things we must bear in mind as we begin to examine these resources. One, Japan's imported wartime stockpiles. And two, Ogura's low standard of living in peace or war. Before the war, cotton was second only to silk in manufacture. More than a million and a half spindles were operating in the mills found chiefly in the industrial belt between Kobe and Nangoya. In the period before war industries held a priority, over half of all factory workers were in textile mills. The needs of the domestic market were fully supplied, and large quantities of cotton yarn and goods were produced for export. Some raw cotton came from the Japanese possessions of Korea and Formosa. Most of it was imported from the United States, India, Brazil, and China. And built up into stockpiles which can last only so long. The fact is that the cotton fields of Japan proper provide this great industry with no more than 2% of the raw stuff from which clothing is made. Horses and cattle are used primarily as beasts of burden on the farms. A small number of pigs are kept as scavenger animals. Hides and leather products are strictly on the import list. Woolen mixtures are acceptable, even desirable in clothing. Wool means sheep, lots of them. Japan proper has so few sheep that the wool available is negligible. The grass of the mountainous terrain is of an unsuitable variety for pasturage. Passing on to a consideration of silk is like feast after famine. Silk is the great revenue resource. Mulberry trees cover 25% of the upland fields. The silkworms grow fat on mulberry leaves. The silk industry grows rich by supplying not only all domestic needs, but also 75% of the world's output. Japan's greatest single export to foreign markets consisted of silk and silk fabrics. Ogura's got something to think about. His native soil can grow no more than 2% of the cotton required to clothe him. In wool, he's not much better off. In leather for shoes, he draws a blank. Silk is the cash crop, all right. It takes the kind of cash to buy that Ogura, the average man, hasn't got. He'll have to be satisfied with a pair of socks of mixed silk, and maybe a Japanese flag, which he will have his buddies in the army autograph with their best wishes. A tree is beauty. 
A tree is also timber, and timber means houses for shelter, charcoal for fuel, ships and land vehicles for transportation, handles for farm implements, wood for gun stock, sandals. Nearly half the surface of Japan proper is under forest. There are in latitude three primary forest zones. The subtropical zone of Kyushu and Shikoku, the temperate zone of Honshu and southwestern Hokkaido, and the boreal areas of northeastern Honshu and eastern Hokkaido. The subtropical zone contains oak, camphor, bamboo, and palm. The temperate zone has a woodland covering of pine, cypress, arborvitae, cedar, fir, beech, ash, chestnut, and poplar. Boreal areas bear coniferous forests of fir and spruce. Forests are of prime importance. Lest they be depleted, the government has undertaken reforestation on a national scale. Over a million acres have been planted in cryptomeria and Japanese cypress. Bonanza for Ogura. His native forests, both natural and cultivated, make him 100% self-sufficient in timber products. He has wooden sandals, a home he left behind with its supply of wooden household utensils and farm implements, fuel for cooking and to burn in the brazier for warmth, paper for books, umbrellas, and for the wall screens at home a gun stock, a barracks for military training, and ships and vehicles for transportation. Ogura may now be provided with his new national uniform, pants and blouse, wartime ersatz byproducts of wood pulp. This is little enough even for a people who have an anti-overcoat wearing society, urging Ogura to scorn vanity and personal comfort. Farming spells existence for over 40% of the people. And bearing in mind rigid Japanese frugality, the farmers produce nearly all the food required. Rice, the master crop, meets 80% of the demand. A demand 15 to 20 times greater per person than that of the American. This is supplemented by 100% yields in terms of consumption of such dry crops as wheat, barley, millet, oats, and vegetables. Nothing is wasted. The straws of grains are utilized in thatching roofs, in making screens, and even rain capes and hats. Fruit supplies 95% of consumption. Tea, 100%. Salt, taken out of the sea by solar evaporation, just about meets the needs of the Japanese diet.
The fishing grounds around Japan are the most thoroughly exploited in the seven seas, producing a fourth of the world's catch. Month by month, beginning in April and running on through October, the seasonal catch progresses in a northerly direction. A million and a quarter Japanese are fishermen. The average Jap eats from 59 to 100 pounds of fish per year. Fertile fishing grounds are found in the inland sea. The small fishing craft have their moorings in the hamlets strung along the shoreline. Modern deep sea boats leave the shelter of the main harbors to follow the seasonal catch off the coast of Honshu. Those powered with modern refrigeration operate farther north near the Siberian maritime provinces and in Alaskan and Arctic waters. In the pre-war era, a sizable fleet of floating canneries prepared large quantities of canned salmon and crab meat, which Americans purchased from their neighborhood grocers. In some of the rivers, the curious use of cormorants for fishing is practiced. The skill in handling these trained birds, each of which wears a metal ring at the base of its neck, was developed over 13 centuries ago. Seaweed, an important staple of the Japanese diet, is an additional marine product in plentiful supply. Ogura's inner man can look with satisfaction on a full bill of fare. There is a noticeable lack of meats and fats, but he has little taste for them anyway. He will get plenty of calories and a limited amount of proteins and oils from his rice, soybeans, and such seafoods as raw and cooked fish, sea slugs, sea urchins, and octopus. Lily bulbs, bamboo shoots, bean curd, and pickled fruits and vegetables offer his palate a variety of flavors. A little sake, a wine made from rice, will give just the right lift to his ego. Once Japan was faced with a casual Chinese incident. not only the material consuming Battle of China, but the Chinese trading people and space for time. There is a big war, a world at war, and it is then that a nation's resources literally go up in smoke. The sinews of war are made of metal, steel, iron, copper, aluminum. The production of armaments from these and other metals requires the power resources of coal, electricity, oil. Iron ore is a basic resource. It takes iron to make the steel produced in the mills and blast furnaces around Yawata. The 1941 output in Japan amounted to some 900,000 tons. Iron 
iron ore deposits are found in two small areas, one in northeastern Honshu, the other in southern Hokkaido. It took large-scale importations to help the Jap war machine build up stockpiles to the point where steel production amounted to 12 million ingot tons. Many other metallic resources are essential to a successful war economy. For increased strength and ductility in steel, such metals as manganese, chromium, and tungsten are added. Zinc and tin are needed as protective coating on iron sheets and wire. Copper, an excellent conductor of heat and electricity, spells both power and communications. Bauxite is an ore of aluminum, and aluminum means planes. As a basis of finance, there are the precious metals of gold and silver. All these metallic minerals are part of the equation that equals world power. Every one of the metals mentioned is extracted in Japan proper. But with the notable exceptions of copper and manganese, they are found only in teaser quantities. As compared to the 90% production of copper consumed by the war machine, and 50% in the case of manganese, the other metals are supplied in dribbles of 10% or 11%, at the most up to 